Hey everyone, this week we're taking a look at retro van builds. Now, retro vans are becoming a little bit less common, but we thought we'd show you our favorites that we've toured here at VanClan. Let's take a look at Brittany's build. Hey guys, my name is Brittany. This is my 1988 Dodge Ram Road Trek, the cream dream. Come take a look on the inside. So the original skylights here, the original dash didn't do much uh, to that. My hula girl, my dream catcher, um, this lots of storage up here that I don't use. Lots of storage up here. Um, the captain chairs, both swivel. Uh, the driver's side swivels to make a, this a twin bed. Um, I kept the original shag rugs because it had to be, kept, had to keep it original. My grandparents are Kind of like, oh my God, don't you want to buy a house? And um, no, everybody loves it. They all, they, they love it. They want to be in here all the freaking time. I just want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you're a retro van lover, or maybe you're more into the modern style of vans. Make sure to comment below and let us know. We met Tyler and Jess a few years back in British Columbia, and they live full time in their Dodge camper van with their cat. Take a look. Hi, I'm Tyler Fossey. And I'm Jessica Fossey. And this is our 1984 Dodge camper van Yogi. Yeah, we were sick of paying so much for rent and we also kind of wanted to go see the world and do some vacationing and that and so we kind of mixed it together and we saw a couple people doing van life and we thought that was pretty cool. So that was back in 2018. We got married and then after our honeymoon we took off to the west coast. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of our van. Back here in our bedroom area, we have our bed here, which is between a queen and a double. We also have some more storage, which is just winter clothes and some heavier items that we have down here. We also have the other half of our storage here is actually for our cat, Shisha. She has a nice little spot down here for her litter box and just a safe area that's all, all for her own. And yeah, that's been really nice for her to have her own space. Spence actually builds vans out as a career, and he made a go anywhere adventure rig out of this old Toyota van. Take a look. Uh, hi, my name's Spence, and this is my 1991 Toyota Hiace. So when I started this build, I see a lot of camper vans that have the bench, the bench, the table, and to make the bed, you would have to, you know, 
put the cushion down, drop the table in between, put the cushion, get your bed. No. See, for me, I tend to drive until I physically can't anymore. So I'll just pull off the side of the road and to set up my bed, all you gotta do is pull this leg out, twist this knob, and the bed just comes right down. Sleeping bag's already folded up. So you just open her up and you're good to go to bed, just like that. And it's as easy as putting the bag up, lifting the whole assembly up there, latching the deadbolt, and putting up the legs again, and you're already ready to go. We featured Zoe and Max very recently with their Ford Econoline. Don't miss their absolutely beautiful interior of this build. What's up guys, my name's Zoe. And I'm Max, and we're full-time photographers and YouTubers living in our 1981 Ford E150 camper van. So, let's go check it out. So come on and get out of the rain and take a look inside our van. So next to our closets, we have this food prep area. We will be putting in a sink here eventually. We have all the plumbing for it underneath, but we haven't had the time. And I also like having so much counter space. It's nice to have my iPad sitting up here and all of our decorations. So now we are in the bedroom area. This is our bed. It's about a queen size bed, a double size bed. We're not really sure. We've never measured it. The bed also turns into a table, but we're pretty lazy and we don't end up turning it into a table most of the time. It's really hard to find a place to put all of your comforters and blankets when you are living in your van. On this side of the wall, we do have some cameras that we brought back from Bali. And of course, we've added more plants just to give that aesthetic feel to the van. That's it for this week, but before you go, make sure you're subscribed. And if you haven't yet seen this video on how to stay cool in the summer, make sure you do because living in a van with the beating sun in summertime gets really, really hot. There's some tips in there that might help you out. Until next time, safe travels.